Okay folks, welcome back to Wooden Toolman's channel, welcome back to my shop. So I've been playing around here, just experimenting some, working on the router powder, power feeder, and uh, I couldn't resist doing a video, I'm so happy with the way this is turning out. You know, I could go the conventional way of uh, chains and sprockets and such, and but you know what, this would be way more fun to be able to do it this way, because the cost is so little. You know, I've literally got a buck or two tied up into this, not even two bucks, and now... I've got my wheels turning. So you can see on this side, I've actually got a wooden pulley, and then I've got some of these little wooden gears. I I made a template up to this, so it just takes now, uh, if you've seen that, it just takes just a minute or not even a minute to buzz one of these out with the router now. And what you can see is I've got three of them here. Now this is just stuck together here. You know, uh, if I'm when I if I use this technique, then I'm obviously going to have it thicker, and uh, you know might even consider putting some bushings in. But you know from the test that I've done. If I've got a nice long uh, bit coming through, I can, you know, run a nice smooth uh, bolt through it. So I may even take that direction. That would be the, the least expensive. And then it's also going to make it so that anybody can make this because, you know, this gear template, uh, the little program for it, anybody can buy it and get it anywhere in the world. So therefore, uh, we'd all be able to build this and everybody can get a hold of these little bolts. So... What I did was, is I kind of spaced these apart, as you can see, just wide enough that these gears will clear, and then I get this one that, so it will mesh in there, so then, uh, what I'm going to be able to do is, I'm actually going to be able to run a belt from my, from my wooden, uh, from the, uh, wooden speed reducer, using the wooden pulleys, and then, uh, you know, then when I turn this, you see that it makes these all turn in the same direction, which is in turn, going to turn the hockey pucks, which would drive the router feeder. Now, so this is a little bit high. I should have made it a little bit lower here. The gears are running, but you can see now it makes the hockey pucks both spin in the same direction. So that's what will pull the material through the router, of course. So this would be ultimately the ultimate cheap way. And the reason why I've got to go with a belt here, uh, probably some of you are wondering why I wouldn't go with all gears. Well, uh, I want to make it so that this thing, so the wheels will actually, this will raise up and down. And uh, I know by using a belt, if I get the angle right, that if I raise it, the belt will stay the same uh, tightness. And then I'll be able to raise and lower this thing without having to make any adjustments to my drive, uh, my belt. So there we go. So this is just stuck together, like I said, but I'm pretty impressed so far. And if you've seen my video on how hard this MDF is, there's no worries about... Uh, breaking a tooth off, you know, I, I don't think, you know, I, I know that the motor is not strong enough to, uh, to break one of these teeth off. So there we go, kind of a neat uh, little experiment that I've been doing, I couldn't resist doing a video to show you. So hopefully you're enjoying, keep tuning in, you'll see more of this coming together as time goes on, and, uh, you know, eventually we'll have it so that everybody can build one of these. So thanks for watching.